Hi there, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com. A question I've been getting a lot lately is about hair powders, and probably because I talk about them all the time. They're a hair product that I discovered years ago, and to this day, still one of my favorite products for instant volume. They're kind of a little bit of a miracle product for me because you only need the tiniest amount and it will make the biggest difference to your hair. Particularly if you've got fine hair or hair that sits flat or you've got like a little section of hair that you really always falls out of place. And even better, it's my secret to Pinterest perfect braids every time. First off, I wanna show you some of my favorite products and then I'm gonna show you the way I use them as well. My number one volume powder has to be the Schwarzkopf volume powder. It's the product I've been using the longest I originally discovered the Schwarzkopf Osis, which is their salon version, and then I found out that this um, pharmacy brand is exactly the same formula. Same company, same product. The reason I love this one is because it does exactly what it says. It's really strong, it's long lasting, and it's easily activated later in the day if your hair starts to fall. One criticism I've heard of this version is that it's a little bit stiff and sticky, and I think that's if you're using too much of this product. You really need to sprinkle it like salt, and then you get a perfect result. Now, if you're in the uh, UK or US, you'll find this under the brand Got To Be. Um, but here in Australia, it's the Schwarzkopf Volume Powder, uh, and you'll find it in a little box um, at Priceline or supermarkets. Now, if you've tried the Schwarzkopf and you found that it wasn't the right formula for your hair, the Aveda Pure Abundance might be the one for you. Um, I initially started trying this one around about the same time, and I still love it, but it's a little bit lighter. Uh, it does mean that I don't think it's as strong and as volume inducing as the Schwarzkopf, but I also think it does a really, really amazing job. And it's a nice light formula, so it means you can layer it uh, for a few days in a row as well, um, and then can keep wearing it for longer. Now with pretty much every brand having their own version of a volume powder, the packaging started to get pretty exciting. Uh, and that's when I discovered the Shumura Volume Maker. Now this is a perfect purse size version because it comes with a built-in brush. This lovely fancy version has a bit like the Touche Glad, like a concealer, you click the back and volume powder comes out the center of the brush and then you can actually just apply it exactly where you need it and work it in so no messy fingers, no touching your hair. This is a really cool purse size version. If you're looking to support a small Aussie brand, I love Behave. Uh, this is a beautiful salon professional brand and the thing I love about their volume powder is this incredible applicator. Uh, it's called Gunpowder and like a little gun it fires the powder so with this you can almost get into your hair exactly where you need it. This is also great if you have curly hair you can get it right to where you need um, and again it's quite an easy mess free formula to use. And then if you love your hair products Lux, I don't think you can go past the David Mallet. Um, this range from Paris is absolutely stunning. Um, I love the packaging. And again, it's also a little applicator, so it fires a beautiful little lightweight puff of powder. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, and this powder just sort of lightly works into your hair and creates volume, but without a real stickiness or heaviness. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And one of the uses for volume powder is more creating volume in a finished style. And I think that this kind of light, um, mist of hair powder it works really well for creating those styles. So let's see the volume powder in action. My favourite way to think about using volume powder is to think of it like salt. A bit like when you're salting your food, if you go too far it's hard to bring it back. So really go with a light hand to begin with. Um, I These bottles have a few holes so if this is even too much product for you, you can put a little bit of tape over the top. This does work out okay for me. And the thing I love with these formulas is they start like a powder, become like a liquid, and then go completely invisible. So there's no white marks in dark hair. Um, all it does is just hold its place and give your roots the most incredible instant volume lift. To show you what I mean, I'm just gonna do it on one side of my hair uh, so you can really see the difference. Now, I've just sprinkled a really tiny amount at my roots, and now the magic happens when you just work it in with your fingertips. By giving this just the teeniest shake, I'm already getting a huge amount of volume, and I've only just applied it here. 
um, applying it around the crown of your hair, um, particularly if you're teasing your hair or creating a bigger, more voluminous style, this is the product you need. But also for everyday looks, if you've got fine hair or you just love big hair like I do, uh, this product is just an absolute miracle worker. It does everything for creating long lasting volume in your hair. The thing I love about it as well is it also creates that really nice matte messy texture like that perfect bedhead um, Kate Moss kind of style hair so completely effortless real French girl hair I think you get with using a volume powder. So that's how you're using volume powder at the roots but if you want to use volume powder more at the ends I'm going to use this spray version just because I think it's easier to apply. But misting it into your hair just and then working it in with your fingers like this just stops your hair from looking anywhere overdone it's still quite touchable um, it, but it has that m messy loose finish completely effort effortless looking hair I feel a little bit lopsided big and <laughs> But even better than creating volume at the roots or uh, creating those perfectly messy waves, I love to use volume powder when I'm braiding. Particularly if you've got fine hair, you are going to love this trick. Now once you've actually done the braid in your hair, I like to sprinkle volume powder down the centre and then pat it into the braid very, very lightly and then you start stretching out the braid. It just creates the most incredible volume, particularly if you've got clean, fine, silky hair that just always wants to fall out, volume powder is key to keeping it in place. So now you can see exactly why I love volume powder so much. I think it's so versatile and creates beautiful volume and the best thing is it reactivates later in the day. If your hair starts to fall flat, just get your hand back in there and reactivate it and you'll have beautiful volume exactly as you did in the morning. I'd love to know if you've tried any of these products and which one's your favorite. Or if it's a different one, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more product tips. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss my next hair video. Head over to hairromance.com where I've got more tips and tricks. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have fun with your hair. Bye.